Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerd Den here once again, and in today's video I am going to be doing my review for WandaVision Episode 8, that I have really, really enjoyed. This was probably one of the most emotional episodes of the entire season, as it kind of does a lot of explanation and everything like that, there's a lot of, essentially revision, like I found that the last episode before this, Episode 7, was... Um, Kind of like a, you know, a setting up point, you know, it did take a step back from the formula and just kind of like build things up. But now we are in proper MCU territory. We are getting essentially a good look at Wanda's backstory, some references to Quicksilver as well. And obviously Agatha Harkness does essentially steal the show in a lot of ways. She is one of the biggest hits for WandaVision now. And I've got to say... Elizabeth Olsen's acting has been absolutely stunning and fantastic in this episode. And I've got to say that in this episode, that was no different. Because, you know, with the emotions as well, especially learning how Vision had an impact on her life that we didn't really know the full extent to, even with Infinity War and Endgame kind of, you know, hinting towards, you know, their relationship... Now we get to finally see how much of an impact Vision had on her life and how she went, like the full extent she went to, in order to try and save Vision, even though Vision was already dead. That's kind of mental. And, you know, a lot of stuff from Vision's, uh, you know, uh, past as well that was nice to see that there was some teasing from, uh, you know, the flashbacks where Wanda went back to the sword facility and obviously she saw Vision, uh, you know, completely in pieces, being experimented on. And then that post credit scene that I'll get onto in a second. But yeah, the absolute emotions in this episode was just all over the place. I really loved it. Um, especially, again, going back to the relationship between these two characters. It's just really nice to see. And obviously revisiting different parts of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we do know exists but we haven't fully seen it was nice to get those reference like going back to hydra going back to wanda's you know younger years when she was a child when her parents were killed and then obviously going up to the avengers compound opening as well so very interesting uh stuff there some pretty cool references and then obviously agatha harkness is an amazing character i really really enjoyed her character and i can't wait to see the conclusion to her character in the final episode the finale is next week i am so excited for it. i am good at the series is ending already but i really have been invested in this series so so much and yeah uh you know i've completely gone off on tangent again as i do in these reviews because obviously i've just seen the episode i'm geeking out and everything but honestly if you haven't seen this episode yet be sure to go and watch it because it is one of the best, if not the best, WandaVision episode that is out there. I am not just saying that. It was really, really well done. And then obviously the post credit scene as well. That I am glad now that we're kind of shifting away from the sitcom stuff that I will miss. But now we're shifting away from the sitcom stuff and going towards the more traditional MCU sort of, um, you know like style and episodes and stuff like that we are now getting post credit scenes that obviously we had in last week's episode and now we're getting in this week's episode as well and i do like the teasing that they are doing in this they do kind of like you know they're providing us with stuff that will lead on to the next episode that is the finale that is there's going to be a lot of stuff happening so i am very excited but overall i am going to give this episode a 10 out of 10 i really enjoyed it from start to finish the fact that it was very emotional as well, I did kind of get a little bit emotional as well during certain scenes that involved uh, Wanda coming back from the snap. That obviously we didn't see her coming back exactly, but how she dealt with the events of Avengers Endgame and obviously you know Infinity War, etc. And you know all of this trauma that she's had in her life has basically led to this, and we get to see the moment where she essentially broke down and created this fictional world of Westview so yeah it was really good but yeah again it was a 10 out of 10 episode for me it was perfect and in my opinion this is the best episode of WandaVision yet so 
I'm going to just say that. The finale has a lot to live up to, and I do hope he gets things wrapped up. So, yeah. Thank you very much for tuning into today's video. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like rating and subscribe for more nerdy content, and I will see you all on my next video. Goodbye for now.